My friends, Jay Sennett. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jay. On today's episode, I'm going to make, mm, well, it's a delicious dinner. It's a delicious meal. It's kind of unusual. There's some interesting, very, very unique flavor profiles in here. I'm going to make Burberry chicken, right? Burberry. What is Burberry? Burberry, and that's kind of like the English pronunciation of it. In Ethiopia, they pronounce it a little bit differently. It's, a, it's, a, it's an Ethiopian spiced blend. And it kind of has a tangy, smoky, mild heat uh, kind of flavor to it. Uh, great with chicken, great with seafood, put it on just about anything, actually. Um, what's it have in it? Um, cardamom, fenugreek, some put cinnamon, nutmeg, um, allspice, uh, ginger, a uh, host of other things that go, that go in Burberry seasoning. Um, and it's absolutely delicious. So I got this chicken breast here. I'm going to put this saucepan over the fire. I got this chicken breast here. And I sliced it up, uh, sliced, you know, just sliced pieces like that. And I seasoned it, and in the Burberry seasoning, you also have some salt. But there wasn't a lot of salt in this particular. I bought it packaged, but you can make your own Burberry seasoning. Um, there's a little bit of salt in it, but I added a little bit more salt here in the chicken. Um, so Burberry chicken with a sun-dried tomato parmesan cream sauce with chili-infused penne pasta. Oh, man, it sounds delicious! And I can't wait. So let's go over here to the stove, and I'm going to show you how I put this dish together, okay? We're going to go over here to the stove. All right, the chicken is looking for these. All right, All right. So I got my pasta boiling over here. Cut these pieces up. Just make sure you get some good separation. Just have olive oil in the pan. Okay. And when I season the chicken, I let the chicken I just, you know, put it in the refrigerator for a little while, you know, maybe a half an hour, hour or so to give time for those flavors, that Burberry flavor, and all those seasonings and that Burberry seasoning to seep into the chicken. Yes. And, um, we'll rinse this off here. Here I have my chili-infused penne pasta. Look at that red color. Interesting, right? Chili-infused penne pasta. Okay. So we're just going to cook this chicken just for a few. And once the chicken is done, I'll take the chicken out and I'm going to create my sun-dried Parmesan cream sauce. It's classic in a way, but with that Burberry seasoning on the chicken and the chili-infused penne pasta, we're going to come up with something Unique, kind of original, right? You don't see every day, certainly don't see every day. And these chicken pieces are fairly, fairly thin, so they can cook fairly quickly. All right, pasta for about 10, 11 minutes. Get it to your liking. That's my Dante. Nothing worse than chewy pasta. Okay, can't have chewy pasta. Can't get the chewy pasta. <laughs> El Dante pasta. That's the best texture for pasta. Right. Ooh. Now this is a little bit of a job here to turn over all these chicken pieces. But you know what? It's going to be worth because the flavor is delicious.
We have uh, a couple of minutes left on our pasta. All right. <laughs> Traditional Ethiopian cuisine is very, very interesting. I've had it a few times. Um, there's this restaurant in Washington, D.C. It used to be called Twins. I don't think it's open anymore. It's actually a jazz club. And it was run by twin Ethiopian sisters. Right? Twins. Hence the title. And that was the first time that I had eaten uh, traditional Ethiopian cuisine. And, and in, in real traditional uh, Ethiopian cuisine, and the concept of it, you go to an authentic Ethiopian restaurant, you kind of like sit on the floor and you eat with your hands. You know? That sort of thing. That was the first time I had ever eaten goat. And it was so spicy, it like burned the pink off my tongue. So I said, I can't have that anymore. But I tried some other things and it was very, very, very interesting. And Burberry, that was the first time I had really tried that Burberry seasoning. Because it's kind of indigenous to Ethiopian culture. Very, very interesting. And you can, you're probably not going to find it in grocery stores. You can order it. Um, which is what I did, or you can go the long route, figure out how to, to make your own Burberry seasoning. Um, I know there are chefs that do it. Marcus Samuelson, for one, you know, his Ethiopian culture and his background, as I understand it, you know, so he makes his own Burberry seasoning. And I think this chicken is just about ready. Oh, that smells so good. You know, what's it taste like? I mean, it's, it's kind of like, there's a little bit of a hint of like barbecue flavor in it with, with uh, like a southwestern kind of thing. But then you have the cinnamon, you have the nuts, nutmeg, you have the allspice, you have the cardamom. <laughs> so you kind of get away from that. But with the chilies and the paprika... It's it's a uh, it's a wonderful flavor, and it's something I forgot to get my bowl out. Just put the cheek on in this for right now. With my pasta. Let's let's take my pasta off the heat first of all. Okay, pour these out. My chili infused canary pasta. I can smell these peppers. <laughs> Just one or two. Oh wow. Wow. Man, it's delicious. Woo! Ah. That pasta has some heat. On it, ladies and gentlemen, chili infused penne pasta. Now I'm going to make my sun-dried tomato cream sauce. I'm going to leave all those bits in there. That's flavor, folks. That's flavor. All that is is flavor. Okay. Now I'm going to add some shallots. Shallots happening right now. All right, we got a little bit of garlic. We're going to add in here. All right, just for the shallots. The garlic will cook fast. Just a minute. Now 
now we're going to add the sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, yes. Delicious. Delicious. Make this sauce pretty quickly. Okay. So, Burberry chicken. Somewhere. There we go. Mmm. Oh. The flavor, folks, is absolutely incredible. Oh, there's that smokiness to it, some mild heat. Actually, the pasta is hotter than the Burberry seasoning. <laughs> so, you have that chili pasta there. Now I'm going to add some broth, some chicken broth. All right, this broth. I'm going to add some cream. Some heavy cream, maybe a half a cup. Here next, add some salt, the seasoning, some salt, and add some freshly ground black pepper. Okay, and Some mustard first, and some mustard in here. Some Dijon mustard, good healthy teaspoon. Some Dijon mustard. Now we want to add some, whoops, there it is, my cheese. Have some Parmesan cheese to go in here. I mixed it up. Actually, I have some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese in here as well. Just a little bit. Okay. Turn your fire down. But not least, some fresh basil in here. Use some for garnish as well. Just a little bit in there. Some fresh basil. So you put your your herbs in like that and last. Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to do next. Return my chicken to this. Separate. They are attached at the hip. There we go. The aroma of this is absolutely incredible. Now, what I want to do is get my trusty spoon. Taste this sauce. You know, if you watch my show, when I 
get it right out of the gate the first time, you know, I'm a happy guy. I'm a happy guy when I get it right the first time. This is absolutely delicious. And you know what? It is pretty much ready. Mouth is watering that delicious chicken. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to plate. And let's see. Hmm. Let's go with the brown bowls tonight. Get some pasta in here, which looks orange <laughs> because of those chili peppers. This chili. Pepper infused penne pasta. Now we want to add some of this chicken sauce. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all of these sun dried tomatoes. Now let's go over. Turn the fire off, go back over here, whoops, tripping on myself and I'm going to clean up the bowl and I'm going to add a little bit more of this bay, fresh basil on top. Then, ladies and gentlemen, just a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. Clears the sinuses that chili infused penne pasta. My dish today on this edition of Cooking with Jay, my Burberry chicken with a Parmesan sun dried tomato sauce with chili infused penne pasta. My mouth is watering. Hmm. So, you know, maybe you want, might want to try the dish. It's pretty easy to uh, put together, make sure everything's turned off. Um, Cooking with Jay, Sunday nights, starting at 6 o'clock on the WHO Public Media Facebook page. And you can see archive editions of my program, WHO Public Media YouTube channel. And if you can't tune in at 6, the, uh, the show stays up on the page. Just scroll down. You know, they constantly, constantly add, you know, different kind of program announcements and such um, on the page. So you might have to scroll down a little bit until you see it, but it'll, it'll be there. And if you have any questions or comments about the show... Always feel free to email me to j.senet, J-A-E dot S-I-N-N-E-T-T, -T, at whrv.org. WHRV has been my home for over 32 years, hosting Senate in session, Monday through Thursday nights from 9 until 1, Saturday mornings from 1 until 5. Uh, no, I'm not there at 3 in the morning, so just a little secret there. I thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> and Sunday afternoons from 1 until 5. And I also host the very soulful r and Chronicles Friday nights from 7 until 8. But this show is about good food. I have such a deep love for great food, great artistic, uh, delicious cuisine that has very interesting, unique flavor profiles. That's the bottom line with me. How does your food taste? I don't care where you studied. I don't care who you trained. I don't... Yeah. How does your food taste? Right? That's the bottom line. How does your food taste? This, my friends, is delicious. Delicious. And I'm going to get into it right now. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon for another edition of Cooking with Jay. Be safe, friends. Stay well. Take care.